All right, guys, next stop, downtown Disney proper. Uh, we got some updates for you there. Just like everything else here at the resort, downtown Disney is starting to bloom once more, and it'll be blooming even further as the weeks go by. Our last stop, as I mentioned, is World of, uh, World of Disney. I almost called it World of Color. Looks like it's a walk-on, you guys. Walk <laughs> I said the same thing before. Uh, we're gonna walk right in to World of Disney. How exciting is that? Okay, guys, let's see what's new at World of Disney. Will there be new Nuimo outfits? I do believe there are. I can see them right now. Let's take a look. Star Wars. Yes, now we're talking. That's like uh, kind of vintage looking too. Is this bugs? Are we bounding as bugs? What is that? Guys, help me. Is that... Why are there bugs? Why is it pink and green? I know it means something. That's a woody bound. So I guess they are bounding. Mad love. That's tea party, of course. I get that one. Ooh. What is that? Am I just blind? Do I not get it? I'm going to go... Cinderella or Snow White. And then here's some regular fashion outfits. Dreamer, they're Disney themed. My World, what does that say? Uh, my Rules. I'm guessing that's a Mickey or a Mini? Probably a Mini? Is that a beret? It is, that's a beret. Limos, man, it's happening. That stuff is really cute. I, I, it's all I could do to not buy one of those things every week. They come out every, every Monday, I think. Wow. They've got this whole setup here for board games. Now I know the board games aren't necessarily new. They're new-ish, but this setup is new. Uh, Candyland, Life, Battleship, Perfection, all Disney themed. I mean, this this has my attention. I haven't played Candyland since I was literally a little boy. I love that game. And every time I see the Jungle Cruise game, I think I might just buy it just because the box is so cool looking. It's like, I think I'm gonna play Jumanji. It's a fantastic looking box. You know, we have the Haunted Mansion game at home too, but we haven't even opened it yet. I know I've shown you this before, but I wanted to show it to you again because I love it. I love Letterman's jackets. I've always wanted one. A Mickey Letterman's jacket would be fantastic. This is one of those things where in 15 years you look back and go, God, I wish I would have bought that. What in the world are these? I think they're water bottles. Yes, there are straws in there. And then you can wear it around your neck. That's a great park water bottle, isn't it? You know, I have a question, Fresh Bake. There's constantly new and amazing merchandise here at Walt Disney. Every week we come here, there's always something new. And then some of the stuff that we thought was new or that we just noticed a few weeks ago is gone. Where does this stuff go? <laughs> I need somebody to tell me where this stuff goes because certainly they don't sell it all. Uh, they can't, how do they keep bringing stuff in here? How do they keep bringing in new and more amazing merchandise? They got some talented folks making stuff out there. I think the winner this week for me was that Sully backpack. Uh, that was fascinating. The, Be the Beauty and the Beast stuff, now that was a themed thing, that's new. Uh, they just sort of spring that on us every now and then. They'll just, here's a themed thing, here, check this out. Beauty and the Beast, enjoy. Anyway, that's it for World of Disney this week. Let's head out. And that's actually gonna do it for our visit to downtown Disney and Buena Vista Street, the Disneyland Resort this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next week, of course. We're gonna start on Friday. Well, maybe that might actually be the whole day now that I think about it. Goodness, how are we gonna do this? Anyway, we'll see you next week for Friday for Wonderground Gallery and the Star Wars Trading Post.
You know, one of these days we're gonna have to go to Ballast Point. We still haven't been to Ballast Point. I've been to Black Tap, got one of those ridiculous shakes. And by ridiculous, I mean, that's way too much shake for a single person to eat. They're putting like entire pieces of cake in there. I don't understand it. Anyway, I digress. Stay tuned next week. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. You can follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked. We're on Twitter at Fresh Baked Dizzy. That's fresh with no E. And if you are interested in seeing more of Liz and I, we're back again recording for Royal Dorks. Check us back out again there. We got some great stuff coming up. Uh, fun stuff that we've already done. Hope you enjoy. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Be safe out there, everybody. Be kind to one another. We love you very much. Fresh baked.